Welcome back to the 2019-2020 ICSA Award Show. Now it is time to announce the highest individual honors in college sailing. To start us off, here is Gail Turlock, Chairwoman of the ICSA Hall of Fame Committee. I'm Gail Turlock, Chair of the Intercollegiate Sailing Association, Hall of Fame, and MCSA representative to the committee. With the dedicated help of committee members Adam Warblow from Mesa, Skip White of NISA, Philip Gordon of NWICSA, Brian Stanford of PCCSC, David Herbster of SESA, and Carl Kleinschroth of CESA, we are pleased to present the 2020 ICSA Hall of Fame honorees. The James Rumanier Award for Student Leadership. The 2020 honoree is Allison Chenard of the University of Georgia, Class of 2020. Allison is recognized for making a significant impact and exhibiting strong leadership on all three levels of college sailing, her own team, her conference, and the national level. In spring 2019, Allison was selected as the first ICSA media intern, an unpaid position, and worked on site for the entirety of the spring national championships in Newport, Rhode Island. After the 2019 Spring Nationals, Allison continued as ICSA Social Media Accounts Manager. Allison is the sole reason that ICSA Social Media now has a professional and credible online presence. She continually brings ideas, concepts, and projects forward. Her efforts at the team, conference, and ICSA level are commendable. Campbell Family Award for Lifetime Service. The 2020 honoree is Patrick Healy, a student at the University of Wisconsin graduating in January 1971. Pat Healy has made major contributions to college sailing as a volunteer and professional coach, judge, and umpire for over 30 years since his time as an undergraduate. Numerous others of Pat's mentees have served distinguished full careers of over 20 years in the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. Pat's example and inspiration have set in motion a wave of mentees paying it forward to future generations. Pat Healy's career of extraordinary service to college sailing as a volunteer and professional, coach, judge, and umpire has had a profound impact on the lives of countless college sailors. Graham Hall Award for Outstanding Service by a College Professional. The 2020 honoree is Michael Callahan. He sailed for Georgetown University, a member of the class of 1997. Mike Callahan's impact on college sailing in the past 20 years continues to move the sport forward. Upon graduation from Georgetown University in 1997, Callahan served for one year as assistant coach before becoming head coach of his alma mater. The program immediately improved in virtually every category under his leadership and has been consistently among the best teams in the country ever since. He served as MESA President and MESA Board Member before becoming MESA Commissioner in 2010, a position he still holds. He has served on the ICSA Championships and ICSA Competition Committees to implement season limits, national championship semifinals, a more efficient interconference regatta schedule, and improve quality of racing at college sailing championships. For over 20 years, Mike Callahan has been a huge presence and has had a major impact on the ICSA. ICSA Award for Outstanding Service Volunteer. The 2020 honoree is Paul Manning, University of California, Berkeley, class of 1983. 
Paul Manning has spent his entire sailing career in service to others. After serving as captain of the University of California Berkeley sailing team in 1983, Paul spent time at the St. Francis Yacht Club, volunteering as a race committee member. He promoted regional and national sailing through his role there. However, he returned to the Cal sailing team where he has spent the last three years helping the team train and improve. Paul volunteers as the team coach and principal race officer when needed. He is dedicated to the team and its success. On many occasions, he has stepped up to help the team with logistics and boat maintenance. Paul consistently shows up for the team with a full heart and an upbeat attitude. The Cal sailing team could not have achieved all it has without its beloved cornerstone, Paul Manning. Hello, I'm Ian Berman, Chair of the ICSA All-American Selection Committee, and I'm here at the College Sailing Hall of Fame in Annapolis, Maryland. Typically, our highest honors are presented at the conclusion of the Spring National Championships. This year, however, with the end of our season canceled due to COVID-19, we will be virtually acknowledging the deserving sailors who stood out from the ground this year. In a previous announcement, we recognized All-American crews, women skippers, and co-ed skippers. Now we will be announcing our highest individual honors. Established in 1988, the Robert H. Hobbs Trophy is presented annually to the Outstanding Sports Person in College Sailing. This award is sponsored by U.S. Sailing. Hi, I'm Tony Ray. I'm a professional sailor and coach and a member of the U.S. Sailing Board of Directors. And uh, in 1990, I was awarded the Robert Hobbs Sportsmanship uh, award and um, and it's something as I've matured through the sport that really uh, carries a lot of meaning for me because we are all stewards of what we do and and the way we carry ourselves with our competitors uh, is really the marker of who we are as sailors and we all hope to leave it a bit better than the way we found it so it's a it's an honor for me and a pleasure to be able to award the Robert Hobbs uh, sportsmanship trophy in in 2020 on behalf of U.S. Sailing. To present this year's winner, we are pleased to have our 2017 winner, Nicole Barnes. Hi, my name is Nikki Barnes, and I'm a graduate of the class of 2017 from the Coast Guard Academy, and I'm currently campaigning in the 470 for the United States. Today, I have the honor of announcing the recipient of the Robert H. Hobbs Sportsmanship Trophy. When I think about sportsmanship, I think about Paul Elfstrom's famous quote, you haven't won the race. If in doing so, you have lost the respect of your competitors. This recipient has not only gained the respect of his teammates, but also those of his competitors. Without further ado, I'd like to announce the recipient of the award, uh, Hobart and William Smith statesman, Kyle Easton. Sportsmanship is having respect for your competitors and your teammates and making friends with people doing the sport that you all love. You know, everyone deserves to be treated with respect, and uh, doing this before wouldn't exactly be very fun if uh, people weren't kind to each other. Congratulations, Kyle. Nice job this year. Established in 2003, the Quantum Women's College Sailor of the Year Trophy is awarded annually to the ICSA's Outstanding Female Collegiate Sailor. To announce this year's finalist and recipient, we have David Thompson. The 2020 Quantum Women's Sailor of the Year finalists are a senior from the Yale University Bulldogs, Christine Klingler, a first year from Stanford University Cardinal, Marcel Larkamp. Now we'll hear a message from each of the finalists. Afterwards, I will announce the winner of the Quantum Women's Sailor of the Year. I couldn't be named a finalist without my teammates. Everyone on the team has pushed me to be a better sailor, student, teammate, and person. During this pandemic, I've realized how much I rely on my teammates for advice, support, and a good time. Although our season got cut short, our fall season and all of our training up until the spring had been incredible. I'm so lucky to be on the Stanford sailing team, and I can't wait to be back on the water with them. Coming in as a freshman, I was a bit intimidated by my competitors, as I've looked up to many of them. My first regatta con college, I remember sailing to the race course and telling myself, wow, I'm sailing against some of the best sailors in the nation. Then at Navy, all of my idols were on the same race course and I told myself, I'm in the big leagues now. But <laughs> sailing against all these successful student athletes has been so much fun. 
Every week, I remember being so excited for a six-hour plane ride, just so I could be sailing with my teammates against some of the best sailors in the U.S. Although the conditions might have been challenging and really difficult, color sailing has really pushed me to stay positive, resilient, and focused. But I realized that college sailing isn't just about racing. It's about all the memories you have with your teammates and competitors. From the van ride to and from the venue to the Carvel ice cream cake after the first day of racing, college sailing has made my freshman year unforgettable. All of these experiences couldn't have happened without my awesome coaches. Brian Swingley, Chris Clevin, and Nick Baird. With Brian organizing, Chris jumping into boats, and Nick to sail against, our team has had some of the most fun practices. I can't forget our trainer, Katie, our lift coach, Will, and our awesome advisor, Shannon, for always being there for the team. And of course, my family for supporting my sailing and education at Stanford University. A big shout out to my Arroyo fam for being the best freshman dorm and for always welcoming me back after a long weekend of racing. Thank you, College Sailing, and go Card. Hey everyone, my name is Chrissy Klingler. I would have graduated last Monday and have been sailing the first day of semis at Women's Nationals today. Instead, I'm here talking to you, thanks to coronavirus. I was asked to make this video about my time in college sailing, about what makes the ICSA so special. When I was thinking about what to say, one regatta kept sticking out of my head. Navy Women's, the spring of my freshman year. I have a sort of joke when describing sailing to my friends, that there are some days that I sail that make me love sailing more, and there are other days that I tolerate because I love sailing. It was the first weekend of our spring break and it was absolutely freezing. Literally, ice in our boats, ice freezing in our boats as we sailed them. The wind started off manageable, but quickly picked up to be gusting in the mid-twenties, coming straight down the Severn River. I remember having a great second race, only to flip just before the finish line with a massive puff rolled through. We came back to that dock, hair soaked and shivering with a last rather than a third. I didn't want to go back out. The whole fleet got an extended lunch break, and we sailed that afternoon using only the Z420s, eventually getting through six races per division. It comes to my mind as one of the most epic days of college sailing I've had, especially since I was a freshman and unused to the conditions. The wind kept howling all afternoon. Ali Tova was taken away in an ambulance because her feet were so frostbitten after she capsized wearing a footless dry suit. In later years, I elevated the story of this regatta to legend status as a way to tell the freshmen to toughen up when they whined about it being too cold to go sailing. It was a way of saying, this is college sailing, and this is what you need to learn to deal with. The part I don't spend enough time talking about in the story of this regatta is the community there. That after I came in a little downtrodden from my first set, everyone huddled up in the boathouse. We put on all the clothing we brought, and we sat around at lunch and made friends, bonding over what we were experiencing together. Some of the other sailors there I already knew from junior sailing, some I was just meeting, but somehow it seemed that everyone was being a little extra nice. Like, hey, isn't it funny that we're all doing this weird sport in these terrible conditions for fun? <laughs> Our Yale squad of KV Knapp, Claire Hubner, Kira Woods, and guest coach Rob Hollowell amped each other up to try it again after our break. KB and Claire went out first and did their second set while I got a little more time to drip going sailing again. When it was time, Claire and KB came in maybe shivering a little, but they were excited after a great set and they pumped me up to believe that I too could handle sailing a few more races. I went to racing pretty worried about how my crew Kira was going to handle everything, knowing that she didn't love the heavy wind nor the cold but she surprised me in the best way possible, keeping the energy super high all afternoon. I would laugh after we would tack around a mark and she would yell, good job, or keep it up, just to keep us both going strong. The next day was also freezing, but over the course of the two days, we pulled together a bunch of great races along with the not so great ones. I was competitive in that fleet, but it was still a time when the good races the moments of brilliance still felt special rather than expected. 
any outsider looking in at the regatta or seeing the report on tech score would likely cringe at the idea of sailing that day. But somehow it ended up being fun. I got invested enough in the sailing, in the tactics of starting and how we would position our boat coming into the windward mark and keeping us going fit flat and fast through the puffs that I forgot that I couldn't really feel my toes. <laughs> I was just having fun racing. When I was thinking about making this video, I pulled up the results on tech score. In retrospect, they're pretty funny to see. Many of the best women sailors of the graduating class of 2020 were there, including Hannah Stedman, Ali Topa, Ragna Agarup, Gabby Rizica, and Maya Agarup. None of these people, nor myself, won their division at that regatta, but all have gone on to win many. It's easy, at least for me, to fixate on the podium and forget that those standing on it usually take a long path to get there. In sailing weekend after weekend of regattas, progress may sometimes feel slow, but looking at this regatta is a reminder of how far everyone comes in four, or I guess in our case, 3.5 years of college sailing. This regatta came to mind for me for this project, not because I sailed that great, but because of what I learned there and because of what it showed me about the people who get together to do this awesome sport together. I already miss college sailing a lot, but hopefully I'll get to see everyone out on the water again sometime soon. Hi, I'm Ed Reynolds, president of Quantum Sales. And, you know, finally for the first time after 17 years, they've allowed me to speak to the winners here. Uh, I don't know, they, they're not that proud of me here at Quantum, but I try hard. Uh, you know, I had this image that we'd all be together. I could meet some of you face to face, but that's just not the head deck that we got dealt this year. And, you know, everybody's had to adapt. And if there's anybody that knows what it takes to adapt and be, you know, take what's given them, it's you guys. I mean, that's part of the sport. It's part of what you do every day on the water. Uh, it's amazing. The group of you that have risen to the top of this sport is so impressive, you know? I know most of you are double-handed, single-handed boats, but you know, this isn't an individual sport. To get to where you have, to ascend at this level of this sport has taken a lot of work and a lot of support from a lot of people. I mean, working from the ICSA, the officials, the coaches, the volunteers, the sponsors, I mean, everybody that it takes to create this thing called collegiate sailing to give you guys the opportunity to show your skill and your craft is amazing. Uh, but probably the most important, parents. I mean, the parents of uh, commitment that they have to have and your entire family to work with you and put you in this position to continue to grow and continue to ascend to this level in this sport uh, takes a lot of work. I'm speaking from some bit of authority, having had a collegiate sailing son, uh, it's a lot of work. So parents, great job, good on you. Uh, you know, awards are really only as good as the competition you beat. So, you know, the competitors, the people you sailed against, you know, those that aren't here, uh, they get a part of this. It's so important to push you guys to this level. And, uh, you know, trust me, I've had enough conversations with people that they're really proud of the Quantum Women Collegiate Sailor of the Year winners. You know, it represents the sport uh, around here at Quantum. This has been so important. We, we feel sailing's for everywhere, everybody. We think that there's no wrong way to love sailing. Uh, you know, we're trying to build our company around a really strong group of vibrant, great women that make the rest of us look good. And as you see more and more women ascending to leadership in the world of sailing, it's so rewarding. And, you know, right or wrong, we feel that we've had a little bit of an influence on that. And this company is so proud to have been a part of it. Once again, from everybody at Quantum Sales, congratulations, look forward to seeing you on the water. The winner of the 2020 Quantum Women's Sailor of the Year is the first year from the Stanford University Cardinal, Michelle Larkamp. Congratulations to Michelle, who is the 2020 Quantum Women's Sailor of the Year.
The ICSA annually presents the Everett B. Morris Trophy to the best intercollegiate sailor in co-ed competition. Captain Everett B. Morris was a world-renowned yachting journalist, an editor, and a member of the United States Naval Academy's Fails Committee. This award is sponsored by Marlowe Ropes. To announce this year's finalist and recipient, we welcome back David Thompson. The 2020 Marlowe Ropes College Sail of the Year finalists are a junior from Stanford University Cardinal, Jack Parkin. A junior from Georgetown University Hoyas, Sean Sagerbloom. And now we'll hear a message from each of the finalists. Afterwards, I will announce the Marlowe Ropes College Sailor of the Year winner. Hi everyone. First off, I want to give a couple of thanks to everyone who helped me to where I am in sailing today. First, I want to thank my parents and family. You guys are my biggest advocates and biggest fans. And I love you guys. I also want to thank my coaches, Nick, Chris, and Brian. You guys gave me the opportunity to sail at my best at the highest level, and I really appreciate that. I also want to thank all the people I sailed with this year, at practice and at Vacatas. I love sailing with every single one of you guys, and I want you to know that although sailing often honors the individual, sailing is really a team sport. You guys really make the team work. I also want to thank the seniors on our team. Taylor and Jacob, you guys are two great friends, two great leaders of the team. It is my hope that next year I can leave a lasting legacy just as big as the one you guys have left. Talking about my team, I think my team is my family and away from home. I love spending time with them and we spend so many hours together each week. To my team, I know that we were going to do great things this year and I fully believe we can just keep doing great things next year. Can't wait to see everyone and I hope to be with you guys soon. Lastly, I want to talk about what college sailing kind of means to me. I love college sailing for a couple reasons. First off, I think there's no better feeling than going out on the water after a hard day of work and spending time surrounded by friends. I also think the college sailing community is really unparalleled by any other sport. I love the fact that you go to regattas and you get to see friends you haven't seen in a couple of months. I love the fact that when you step off the boat after a hard day of sailing, you're surrounded by people that I badly call my friends. I don't think they have this type of community in any other sport. So although it's a shame I didn't get to ever see everyone this for the spring, I can't wait to see everyone again back in the fall. I can't wait to have some more fun on the water. College sailing has had the most amazing impact on my college career. It began by opening my path to the best university possible, Georgetown. Becoming a sailor at Georgetown gave me an amazing team that I can now call family. My coaches and teammates were more than just that. They were friends and mentors. Being able to get on the water in the midst of stressful times kept me sane and determined throughout college. College sailing gave me a competitive drive to work hard for, some lifelong friends, and one large but amazing family. My college career would not have been nearly as amazing without college sailing. Hey, it's Forrest from Marlowe Ropes USA, a longtime ICSA sponsor. Uh, of all the years we've sponsored the ICSA, I think this year we're prouder than ever of the coaches and the student athletes and the program directors and everybody who uh, came together in such a disappointing year. Uh, pretty soon the AP is going to be down. We're all going to be back out on the water again. And until then, we need to stay safe and follow the rules. Uh, so congratulations to everybody, to all the graduating seniors, and to all the student athletes, and especially to this year's uh, 2020 Marlowe Ropes College Sailor of the Year. Winner of the 2020 Marlowe Ropes College Sailor of the Year is a junior from Stanford University Cardinal, Jack Parkin. Congratulations to Jack for being the 2020 Marlowe Ropes College Sailor of the Year. Thank you, David, and thank you for joining us for this announcement. And thanks to U.S. Sailing, Quantum, Marlowe, and all of our great sponsors. You hit make college sailing what it is. Also, congratulations to our award winners, finalists, and all other college sailors, especially the class of 2020, on a great year. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we hope to see you all in the water again real soon.